Hey everybody, Brian Tro coming to you from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing with your fly fishing forecast. The date for today is Monday, the 11th of December. So more good news on the weather front. Uh, we received uh, roughly about an inch, some places a little more, some places a little less across the valley. About an inch of rain yesterday on Sunday and into last night. And then sometime around early evening, late evening, depending on how high up you were, it all switched over to snow. So I woke up this morning on Mossy Creek with about an inch and a half of snow on the ground. Um, and it definitely goes up with elevation. So for some of you uh, in the Piedmont or over in Tidewater that were thinking about heading up to the valley today, um, there's parts of the Blue Ridge, especially above 2,500 feet, uh, that have five, six inches of snow. And same to our west, if you're heading up into Highland or Bath County, or you're heading up in the Alleghenies here in Western Rockingham, uh, above two, 3,000 feet, there's uh, close to half a foot of snow. So this all bodes really well. This is kind of how we've been going the last few weeks. If you all have been kind of keeping up and paying attention, uh, we, we just kind of, we're not getting tons and tons of precipitation, but we're getting at least one sizable storm every five or six days it's moving through. And um, so that's really good news. The pattern definitely seems to be changing. Got an inch this week, an inch last week, three inches a week before that. Um, snow definitely helps if you all follow this uh, enough. You, you hear me talk about snow and, and how it melts slowly into the ground and it really helps. It's like a drip system for the, for the water table. It really helps replenish our aquifers, which is what we very much need. So let's keep this going. Um, we've got some cold air rushing in right now. It's gonna be you know 16 degrees tonight and 20 mile an hour wind. So it's gonna be cold. We have several nights this week in the teens and then it looks like by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, modifying a bit, it's going to be in the 50s again um, before the next storm comes through, maybe bringing some more rain or snow. Uh, so and all in all, a much better trend. And uh, if you have the chance to pick your days, you know, pick your warmer days, fish your warmer hours of the warmer days. Um, yesterday was like unbelievably good. Lots of great reports out from the stream. I mean, it was 59 degrees overcast right ahead of a big, big front. Uh, the barometer shifts are really important. So lots of really good reports from yesterday. Um, and then like this afternoon, it'll be tougher. Wind's ripping out of the Northwest. So cold front, wind, chilly temps, um, fish deeper, fish slower. Uh, the state has been out stocking more and more. I told you this would happen as the water levels come up. Um, they're gonna switch from stocking a lot of our lakes and ponds they're going to try and start getting streams stocked. They are, um, but they're going to target uh, drainages that have a little more water in them, and they're going to target bigger streams first. So, like they just stocked the Peddler, they just stocked um, Stony Creek um, up in Shenandoah County, they stocked the North Fork of the Shenandoah here in Rockingham County. A lot of these places they stocked uh, South River in Grottoes as well as down in Waynesboro. Some of these places are putting take water. So, some of these places, you know, if you, uh, if you go there, you know, a week or two later, they've been fished pretty hard. So pay attention to the management, pay attention to how the state manages the water. It has a huge impact on, on how the fishing is. Um, if you have questions about that, you can always call or, or uh, email or stop in and ask the shop. Um, we'll make sure you know the best managed water and where you can go uh, after stockings. Um, as many of you know, uh, from some of our emails, the park has opened back up. So Shenandoah National Park is, is open back up to fishing after being closed for months. Um, and uh, much needed snowfall up there. That's gonna help those brook trout streams quite a bit, getting some more water, keep getting more and more water down into the drainage. Um, Beaver Creek, which is managed by our local Massanut and Trout Unlimited, it too is open back up. You can find information on Beaver Creek on our website. If you go to our homepage and you click on area info, Beaver Creek, along with several other great streams and lakes that are in the area to fish uh, are on there. So, um, so continue to watch your favorite delayed harvest should be stocked relatively soon, okay? Um, the, the state wants to get those open so that you can enjoy those for months and months and months to come. So just keep an eye on it. And um, you know, some of these DHs are gonna get opened up. And for those of you who really enjoy fishing, catch and release only stocked water. There should be more and more coming coming soon. Um, as far as the brook trout go, um, most of us at the shop here kind of leave them alone right now. That's, that's what we choose to do. R remember that 
the biggest risk that you pose to, to fishing for brook trout at this point in December is uh, trampling nests, trampling nests that are still have, you know, uh, very vulnerable fry sitting in them, eggs and fry. And, uh, and so if you choose to go, because we have people coming in every day asking about, hey, the water level's back up, the water temperatures aren't too bad, should I go? If you choose to go brook trout fishing, do your best to just not be in the water, okay? Um, if you're not in the water, you're not gonna put uh, any of those nests at risk. Some people wait, wait a little bit longer. Everybody's on a different plan, but you know, if, if you do go, just try and avoid wading through the streams right now. You're gonna find they're tough to catch too. I mean, they're like any other fish. When we have really, we got snow melt up there, water temps are gonna be like 33 degrees. So you're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time getting them to eat. You gotta grid the water out, fish slow, fish nymphs on the bottom. Uh, because you know their metabolism goes quite low once we get to this point in the year. The, day, the daylight hours are almost the shortest of the year. We're almost at the solstice, so there's just not a lot of sunlight coming through and hitting those, those streams. And uh, below freezing every night. Some places below freezing during the day and night. So it leads to pretty uh, slow metabolism. All right. That's why we recommend you coming down and fishing some of the bigger freestone streams, fishing the tailwaters, fishing the spring creeks, where you've got that modified water and you've got bigger fish and you've got more food available and uh, they're on a little bit better program. So same deal as it's been if you're going out and fishing Buffalo Creek or you're going out and fishing Beaver Creek or Mossy Creek or Smith Creek, um, you know, take a stream thermometer with you, find those springs, find the places where the water temps are, are better. Um, if you go out on a really cold morning, like tomorrow morning, if you go out and fish on Mossy Creek, you'll see kind of like steam billowing out of the creek in very specific spots. That's where you've got really, really warm water temperatures colliding with really, really cold air and you get this condensation happening. It's pretty awesome. But that's one way to know where your springs are and uh, you, you, know, you want to fish in close proximity to those. Um, streamers and nymphs are still the way to go. They're not super picky. Um, you got to balance it uh, in spite of plenty of precipitation in the last couple of weeks, we are still below average. And it takes time for those spring creeks to, to kind of slowly come back up. So you're still being sneaky, you're still fishing a little bit longer leaders, you're, you're mindful of your presence and your approach, you're keeping a low profile, low angle. Um, fishing, fishing on cloudier days is gonna be better for you. Fishing at lower lights gonna be better for you. Um, and have those bluing olives handy, have a couple caddis handy, um, have some midges, they, they've been eating on the surface. Um, can see it's clouding up right now so uh, you never know when you're going to get a little hatch in the afternoon um, pretty rewarding to catch a riser uh, in December when uh, when you weren't otherwise expecting it so um, got a lot of sales and deals happening here at the store uh, thanks everybody coming out last week to our little Christmas get-together um, we'll have a lot of cool in-store sales um, if you need help shopping for that angler in your life, come in. We, we do custom, we'll custom pick fly assortments for you. You can just pick a price and we'll tell us what, what they fish for and we'll go through and pick out all these flies for you for that fly tire um, in your life. Um, we're always getting in new product, always getting in cool new materials. You can't go wrong there buying materials for that fly tire you love. Um, so stop by and the crew will be here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be open right up until through New Year's or sorry Christmas Eve. We stay open on Christmas Eve until about four o'clock. So you've got two weeks, less than two weeks, to get your shopping in. Uh, we'll be here to help you out. So need a place to go fish this weekend. It's gonna be in the 50s. It's gonna be cloudy. It should be quite good. Uh, give us a call um, or email us or our favorite. Stop by the shop and see us. All right. Catch you all next Monday.